वेलकम फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ रुदु डी पटेल लेक्चर एट पारुल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी वेलकम्स यू ऑल टू द एक्टिव लर्निंग वीडियो सेशन ऑन द केमिस्ट्री इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द जी टी यू पेपर सोल्यूशन ऑफ द समर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व इन द सब्जेक्ट अप्लाइड केमिस्ट्री दैट इज एक्चुअली कमिंग एज अ सब्जेक्ट इन डिप्लोमा सेकेंड सेमिस्टर ओके सो इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग एंटायर क्वेश्चन पेपर विद द सोल्यूशन एंड अ वे हाउ टू राइट अ क्वेश्चन पेपर हाउ to answer the particular questions and how to think on the particular questions whenever the situation is given in front of you let us try to understand what exactly we are going to do in this session whenever any question paper comes to you the first thing that you have to do is you have to read the question paper very nicely and understand each and every question in the proper manner before you go ahead or proceed to the next question you have to understand what questions you are actually going to attempt in the gtu exam that has to be actually tick marked on the question paper it should be made very clear to the mind whatever options that you are going to choose before you attempt any question paper okay now when you go through the questions the first thing that you have to see is that you have to read the questions and then understand what actually you are supposed to write for that particular question suppose if it is given a short note then you have to decide in the short note what points you are going to cover for that particular topic if it is given objectives of the two marks then you should be very clear in the mind that two lines answers are necessary or three lines answers are necessary means answer to the point should be given not much detail of that answer should be described when you are attempting gtu question paper basis of the weightage of the marks you have to decide how much you are going to put to the answer emphasis the first thing it should be very clear that if objective is there then if they are asking the methods or they are asking you to show the calculations if necessary then on you show the calculations or else if they are asking any long questions or if they are asking any objective specifically of the one mark or it is something like filling the blanks then you are supposed to write directly the answers these all the remedies you have to keep in mind when you are attempting any question paper suppose if they are asking you any short note or if they are asking you describe the following if they are asking you the construction if they are asking you the working of particular cell or something in the chemistry then you have to remember that reactions also play a very important role when you are attempting the chemistry question paper so suppose if you if reaction is asked in the question paper then it should be very clear to your mind what reaction will come after what topic like suppose you start with the diagram after that you will write little bit of descriptions on that that to in the key points and the next thing that you can think is something writing the reactions in the particular order so this is very important when you write the gtu paper right okay suppose if you are attempting any long question on in that if you are aware of the diagram the diagram should be presented very clearly emphasizing the things that whatever you are writing in the theory should be reflected same in the diagram so this one has to remember when you are drawing any diagram when you write the reactions you have to ensure that you are balancing the reactions well in the paper suppose you are attempting any sum numericals based on this particular topics you have to make sure that the numericals given in the question paper has to be solved by giving the systematic formula for that okay so suppose you are having any sum on the ph or you are having any sum on the water treatment then you have to write down the first formula for the solving the numericals then you will go ahead with the next steps and then you will proceed with the final answer whenever you are concluding any sum in the paper then you have to make sure that you are writing the units of the answer if unit is required for that particular answer if it is unitless then there is no problem for that but suppose if a unit is required then you are supposed to write down the unit with that answer too right so these all things one has to take care in the mind when one is attempting the paper at least all the students must ensure they should give 5 minutes of the very silent and concentrated reading to the question paper before solving the question paper so in the exam when you are getting the paper on the hand you have to make sure 
that you are reading each and everything very clearly and then gradually you decide what you are planning to attempt that is most important thing that you are supposed to do let us try to proceed ahead in this session we will be discussing the summer 2012 gtu paper solution in the applied chemistry subject and we will be dealing with the different things you can read here the applied science chemistry subject paper summer exam 2012 we have taken the entire paper with the solution emphasizing each and every topic clearly okay let us try to proceed ahead now if you see here the question one that is actually answer the following that is given the weightage of total 14 marks so in this particular section there are seven objective questions each question is carrying two marks okay so this seven questions are basically made compulsory to attempt so it is emphasizing basically on the objectives that comes in the middle of the textbooks while doing the lectures or while attending the lectures one has to ensure that if they have learned the topic thoroughly then this objective session will be very simple for the students and also it is the most scoring part of the paper if you are able to score something 14 marks in this objective that means you need to score 10 marks more in order to pass out the 70 marks of the gtu exam so one has to ensure the proper learning with the entire clearing of the topic now let us try to proceed ahead with the topics and the things question 1 comprises of the seven objective questions each questions carries two marks so we will be having total 14 marks now let us try to discuss each and every question with the detailing answer in that the question 1a that is comes what are refractories right so this refractories basically in that they have asked the refractories and the characteristics so for that you will be writing they are actually the material which can withstand very high temperature without undergoing any change in shape by virtue of their high melting point this is the two marks very specific answer with the definition we are going to take let us move ahead the answer continues they have asked for the characteristics right so for characteristics you need to write down that it should not fuse at operating temperature its physical and mechanical properties should not undergo any change at high temperature and it should be chemically inert i think this three characteristics are more than enough to in order to make sure the attempt of the two marks questions in the gtu let us try to say, take the next questions suppose if you are writing the more refractory characteristics you can view here very clearly that your refractory should withstand a temperature differences it should be able to bear load changes contraction and expansion of refractory should not be sudden but it should be uniform so minimum you can take up any four points from this things and you can write down which will justify your two marks of the objective question right the next question that you can take here is b in ion exchange process how the acidic and basic resins are regenerated you can read here a very simple question about the regeneration process is asked so in such case you have to simply write down you can regenerate your exhausted cation exchange resin by passing dilute hcl in the first tower and also the exhausted anion resin can be regenerated by passing dilute alkaline solution like noh or K oh in the second tower okay this is a simple answer that you have to write when you are opting the second objective you can see here the third thing write the standard conditions used for measurement of electrode potential of cell you can see very clearly here the three conditions on which your standard hydrogen electrode is actually working that is one molar concentration one atmospheric pressure and 25 degree celsius temperature the next question that is asked for the two marks again the objective the melting point of carbon tetrafluoride is actually less than carbon tetrachloride you can write down the reason electron affinity of fluorine is less as compared to chlorine though its atomic number is smaller and this is the reason why carbon tetrafluoride is actually having less melting point compared to the carbon tetrachloride the next objective that you can see here state the essential properties of lubricating oil used for cutting tools 
the very clear you can see here the essential properties is it should this lubricating oil that is used it should cool the cutter and workpiece it should lubricate our tool and workpiece to wash away any matter collected in machining operation to protect finished product from rust and corrosion to enable cutting tool to give the fine finish these are the essential qualities that your lubricating oil must possess when it is used for the cutting tool purpose okay so this has to be written when you are attempting to mark of the objective now if you see here the shape of the p orbital is asked in the gtu exam that is for the two marks you can see the dumbbell first of all you will draw the axis that is x axis y axis and z axis right and in that you should write it very clearly that your x axis your first dumbbell when you are drawing for the px shape the p orbital of the px then you will write down your put the dumbbell on the x axis when you are drawing for the py then you will put the dumbbell on the y axis and when you are putting the pz axis then it means you will be putting your dumbbell on the z axis so according to the requirement the p orbital is three fold degenerate that is px py and pz and hence you can always write down the px py according to the graph situation that you can see clearly in the picture the next thing that is asked objective again of the two mark that is write the constituents of the paint okay the constituents of paint are as follows that is pigment vehicle or that is called drying oil then we have thinners we have dryers we have fillers and we have plasticizers you can see very clearly that they have asked the constituents so constituents means what are the composition of the paints so we don't have to put the detail of each and every component given in the answer so be very specific when you are ob opting for the objectives the next question that comes in the paper is answer the following that is costing of the two marks again there is a one question each carrying one mark so total mark seven and there are seven objectives see here a simple filling the blanks and definition type of things are kept in the one mark objectives in gtu paper the first thing that they have asked is teflon is prepared from dash it means they have asked for the monomer of the teflon so that is tetrafluoroethylene okay then we can see very clearly here 10 degree french is equal to dash degree clark so here you need to recollect the your formula for calculating this numerical and the final answer that turns out is to be 7 degree clark okay the third thing they have asked here is definition they have asked saponification number so for that you will be writing simply the definition that it is number in milligrams of koh required to saponify fatty material present in one gram of oil okay so this is the answer that you are supposed to write now they have asked some diagram each costing the one mark so you can see here this is the bcc arrangement okay you can see all the atoms are kept at actually the corners of the cube and there is only a single atom in the center of the entire cube so this is actually basically what body centered cubic crystal so this is the diagram that you are supposed to draw for the one mark the next thing that you can see here again filling the blanks is there n type semiconductor is formed by addition of impurity of dash in germanium so it means they are asking you which kind of impurity you will add to produce your n type semiconductor so here the answer is arsenic okay so arsenic is added in order to get n type of semiconductors again you can view here they have asked one important objective that is explain the meaning of ar40 and 20 now if you try to understand what 
does this ar stands that is your ar is actually your argon element okay in periodic table argon is a inert gas so you can see here very clearly ar stands for the argon element now the number on the right hand side top is actually describing your atomic mass and the number on the left hand side below it is actually going to describe your atomic number okay so we have found out very clearly that ar is a argon element atomic number is 20 atomic mass is 40 and number of neutrons will be equal to 40 minus 20 that is 20 okay so number of protons it automatically comes out to be 20 so when they are asking any objective based on explain the meaning of argon or you can say sodium or you can say calcium at that time you have to first specify the alphabet that is given and the alphabet given then again comes out to be the description of their atomic mass and atomic number so this one has to remember very clearly so you have seen the three basic type of objectives that can come one is filling the blanks another is the meanings that you are supposed to explore and the third thing is that you can just write down that definitions the simple definitions so these three are the probability that one has to remember when we are doing or attempting the gtu question paper let us proceed ahead you can see here very clearly they have asked the definition the seventh objective that is the last objective costing the one mark that is the series in which different electrodes are arranged in decreasing order of their standard oxidation potential is called electrochemical series okay so this definition one has to attempt when we go for electrochemical series let us move ahead the question 2b right in that answer the following we are having actually two questions of weighted seven marks that means it again depends on the examiner whether we want to give four marks to question one and three marks to question two or vice versa or you can plan to put up three and half marks three and half marks for both the questions that depends on the pattern that is defined every time okay let us attempt the first question you can see here state and explain off bow principle and write down the electronic configuration for fe fe is actually indicating your iron and mg is indicating your magnesium write down the clearly you have to describe the principle then you have to write down the electronic configuration so whenever you are describing such kind of questions be very clear first you will be writing the entire rule what is the principle actually and then you will come to the application of this particular principle in writing the electronic configuration so here we have started with meaning of off bow is